She-Hulk is officially over now. I don't know if they're doing a season two or whatever, but I did not want to get ahead of myself and talk about how good the show was or how bad the show was in the beginning and then whatever the result is now. But I have finished basically all of uh, She-Hulk or all of I need to see of She-Hulk to give my overall opinion. And I just have to say right now, She-Hulk lost me. I did not fucking watch episodes five, six, and seven, or six and seven. I stopped watching the show. The show really lost me after the episode where Wong and She-Hulk fight dragon flying monsters with that weird ass fucking magician in the show. That was it for me. I came back when Daredevil was in the show on episode eight, and overall I really did enjoy that episode, I'll have to say, and I thought he was handled pretty decently. We'll have to see how he's handled in the actual Daredevil show. But there was something unique about Daredevil in this whole show. He was the only real person in the show. That's how it felt to me. I'm not a big fan of his um, golden helmet, and we definitely see the lighter side of Matt Murdock in this show. But overall, I just did not also like how he fucked Jennifer in the show as well. And I really hope she is not in this Daredevil show coming up. I really hope not. Um, guys, this show had horrible CGI. It also lost me when I saw Megan the Stallion in the show. You don't you don't need to do that with them twerking too. You don't need to do that. Holy fuck. That really ruined it for me. Um, the CGI of, on the character of She-Hulk looks horrendous. In the trailers, it looked even worse. And you would think maybe in the show, oh, fuck, it could be a lot better. It, oh, it wasn't. There's probably about two episodes, if that, that I liked. And that being episodes one and episodes eight. I liked seeing the dynamic between her and Bruce. I enjoyed that. And I'm like, oh, cool. Maybe this can carry out through the rest of the show. It did not at all. Um, the show did each episode from that felt like filler. There was no storyline. There was nothing to like they were building up to anything and I did not like that at all. There was no there was nothing. It was literally just a culmination of episodes of her being She-Hulk. Was that really the show? For me, that lost me like right in episode two. I'm like, I don't think this show's going anywhere. And a lot of Disney Plus shows, are, for Marvel at least, don't really go anywhere. I, I just, I don't know. It just, for me, what the fuck? And I guess you can't really judge. I, I can't really judge. I'm not a good person to review the whole series or the season four because I missed a couple episodes. I don't care. I really thought that this show had a lot of potential you have you could have done a really cool interesting thing with a lawyer style aspect like a law and order type style vibe of a show and comedy that's another thing this show was not funny whatsoever. fucking ever i was not laughing at all that's the thing the walk of shame daredevil plug i personally eh um and yeah, I did not find it funny. I'm just sorry. I'm just fucking going blank from it. But also like there was no thriller and it had a lot of potential with a cool character of She-Hulk had a lot of potential of being funny and it didn't. And not only that, the finale was fucking a clever idea on paper with the fourth wall, breaking the fourth wall, going into Marvel Studios, complaining about the show and that I actually, for the one spot, you guys know what I'm talking about. I thought I actually exit out of the episode. It was, it's all cool idea on paper. It did not get executed at all, really at all. It was horribly executed. And there is there was no end game to the finale as well. It was just like, okay, we're just gonna do this now instead and they're all in jail and that's it. And then Hulk, we meet Hulk's son Scar out of nowhere. Overall guys, She-Hulk lost me. I really thought that this show could have been so much more. It, it could have been so much more. It had so much potential to it. Like I said, interesting character and a cool premise that it could have been. But I have to say, seeing Charlie Cox's Daredevil, that was cool to see. Hopefully they make that a little bit darker in the actual show. But overall guys, that was the only thing that really was redeeming was episode eight. If that, um, the Daredevil sequences. Overall, Marvel She-Hulk for me gets a one out of 10. And fuck guys, this is horrible. It's horrible. It is fucking horrible. Thanks for watching guys. Please let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. I said that already twice, whatever. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.